You guys, did you know in Japan they have women only carriages? It's like a Saudi Arabia in here. I'm gonna just say it, these type of carriages exist for the sole reason to stop people like you from harassing them. I am the women inspector checking there's only women on this carriage. Yep, 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 there's only women here. Cool, no men. I don't see a single man in sight. Yep, check complete. It really is a women only carriage, guys, wow. You know there's a problem in society when there has to be women-only carriages because there's just so many creepy dudes out there. For people like this, we should honestly set up a TikTok trend, which is try not to touch or creep anyone out for 24 hours challenge. This guy also literally looks like a Wojak meme. I am the women inspector. Right, welcome back to the channel Game of Virgins. Today we're looking at some cringe. I have a cold at the moment, so if I sound any different, that will be why, but nothing like some milk and cringe to make me feel better. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, comment your favorite snack, it could be a brick for all I care. With that being said, grab some holy water and let's watch some videos. Right, let's see what we've got here. Let's normalize not showering. I shower once every two weeks and I don't smell. Hygiene is a Western concept that we should reject. Hey, look, if you want to walk around smelling like Shrek's butt cheeks, by all means do that, but I don't think anyone will want to be near you. What is this trigger warning as well? Latinx music. Latinx music? Right, I'm not being funny, but I know people can get triggered by a lot of stuff, but what, who is going to hear latina music and think th this disturbs me also since when has showering been a western concept i honestly am finding it hard to believe that everyone in asian countries just smells like shrek's butt cheeks if anyone's from a country that isn't a western country can you please let me know down below how often people shower thank you Okay, look, we eventually accepted pineapple on pizza, but butter on pizza? Really? It probably costs less to get a gym membership than it does a pizza and some butter nowadays. I know some people who eat some funky food combinations, but I refuse to accept that butter on pizza actually tastes good. The thing is, as well, there's probably so many calories in that one slice of pizza, it turned her eyes cross-eyed. That is a sign that that is just not healthy for you. What have we got here? It's like an announcement from Roblox. For 17 plus verified people in 17 plus experiences, thousands of adults will meet for the first time in Roblox dating experiences and subsequently form real-life relationships. Like, who made this idea? How many adults do you actually think are on Roblox? And for whatever reason, are gonna sign up to meet people and form a relationship. It's a kid's game, and you're mixing adult interactions in with it in the form of dating. You've got a bunch of kids who are probably gonna sneak onto this and then be speaking to a load of adults. Yeah, it totally sounds like such a great idea like there's nothing wrong that could come from this <laughs> how how did you guys meet oh we met on roblox dating yeah how cool you know what i really don't like profiles like this not because it has he him or his in it it's obviously the part where it says yap and map if you don't know what map is it stands for minor attracted person and it's absolutely disgusting and i imagine yap is young attracted person as well which it's basically the same thing i don't know why you need two words to describe someone being absolutely disgusting. I also have no idea what a Shota supremacist is. Honestly, if you see anyone online just promoting this type of degeneracy, just straight up block and report him. It is so unbelievably cringe and weird. Like, no one in the LGBTQ wants you. No one in life wants you. I might even end up getting cancelled for saying that in like 10 years time, but I'm going to put my money down on the fact that people do not want this at all. But moving on from that absolute degenerate profile, we're going to watch a Roblox streamer clean his room. If you guys haven't seen this video, oh boy, make sure you've got your holy water nearby because it's a real treat. Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer again. First, I went over what we have. We have a roach infestation. I don't think it's caused by me. I yeah, what a normal thing to find in your room. Just a casual cockroach infestation. Yeah, what a normal thing. I think it's just a really invasive. We've got some bowls we have to clean up. Uh, Bruh, that hot dog is holding on to some undiscovered diseases right there. That looks like a turd, my dude. That looks like you just fished it straight out of the toilet bowl. Um, found this hot dog. <laughs> July 4th. Alright, we cleaned up this- <laughs> Bro, how violent are your farts? That chair right there is a biohazard. That needs, like, just cornered off, burnt, and sent to the bin. This chair- Get some of these bowls down. That's a little crusted on. Might need to soak it in some hot water first. We have some frappuccinos. Looks like something tried growing in here. Not on my watch. 
Something tried to grow in here. Not on my watch. Bro, it's already growing. It's already got, like, mold and fungus on there. What, what are you talking about? Not on my watch. Now we got some snack trays. Gotta clean these up. Don't want my dog to eat them. I think he already did. Some of it's missing. Found a little baby roach trying to get away. Bruh. Sorry, honey. Didn't mean to leave that down there. Hope you don't mind. Alright, well that's about it. The room's pretty clean now. We've made a lot of good progress. So we're just gonna finish up another day. I'm pretty exhausted, so stay tuned. Yeah, I can't even imagine how tired you must be from cleaning up that absolute pigsty of a room you've got there. Nothing like a good old Roblox streamer to let us know just how degenerate they live. I honestly don't even know what to say with this one. I don't think I could be a teacher. Honestly, I'd probably end up slapping a child. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's true. You honestly think I have the patience to listen to someone like this defend a family with family relationship? Nah, bro. Why would anyone make this TikTok? Imagine showing your parents your TikTok and it's something like this. I'd send my kid to Garbage Island if I found this on their TikTok. Right, if there's one thing that I have a bit of a guilty pleasure of, it is laughing at kids thinking they're gangster and posting it online for everyone to see. To let everyone know that they're really about that life. When in reality, they're like the whitest kid ever. Like this kid here. Got my shiesty on ready for tonight. <laughs> People who wear this like full face guard, like hiding your face are honestly just so cringe. He then just posted a Snapchat saying, W heist. <laughs> Bro, what even are they? They look like you, it looks like you just stole like birthday invitations from like a six year old. The classic pointing a gun while you're at the back of the maths class. It honestly looks like this kid is already in prison. <laughs> Most dangerous mother frickers around. I'm gonna have to blur it out because there's like three guns in this picture, but like, what is that hand sign, bro? <laughs> I love the fact that they're wearing a shiesty, if that's what it's called, and they're still blocking out their eyes. <laughs> I still just can't get over this hand gesture. What is that gang sign, bro? There is always just those kids in school who think that they're part of a gang. Like, why is this even a thing? <laughs> The hard life of a festival content creator. Let's see what's so hard about this. What, what, what is the problem here? Someone walked in front of you while they were at a festival? I honestly do not think that they care that you are trying to get a video of the artist in the background and you doing some mediocre dance moves. I mean, TikTok creators really do be living out here in the hard life, you know? Like, can you imagine if the people in the crowd started dancing? Like, the absolute disrespect. Look at this absolute sad face as people just walk past her while she's trying to make content. Get a life, bro. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I'm going to go to sleep. My head is pounding. I hope you enjoyed the video and I didn't melt too many of your brain cells. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I will see you, Gamer Virgins, next time.